Hey you guys, welcome to this week's segment on the Raylands Boutique blog. If you couldn't already guess, we are talking all about graduation this week. It's hard to believe that it's almost May already. So whether you're graduating from your undergrad or high school or graduate degree, you have so much to look forward to in the next couple of months. So we are going to talk about what to wear for graduation today. A lot of people like to wear white under their gowns. It's just kind of like a sign of passing, I guess, almost for um, graduates. So we've got a lot of different white styles here at the boutique. I'm just gonna show you a couple of my favorites. This first one is a lace detailed dress with a nude underlay. I absolutely love this dress and it's perfect too if you are a bride-to-be looking for a bachelorette party or bridal shower. It can kind of be worn for two different occasions, which is a great thing. This one is just one of our simple classic white dresses. It's perfect if you are just looking for something simple that you can add some accessories to or a fun heel or anything along those lines. So we have, of course, a bunch of different white styles, but those are just a couple of my favorites. And then we're going to talk about shoes. So one of my favorite pairs of shoes that we just received is this red heel, which is so perfect if you are going to wear a white dress, you can just kind of add this for that little pop of color. We also do have a white heel, which is great if you are going for that all white kind of Kardashian look, which is great. And then we do have a nude heel, which goes with everything. Um, nude heels are definitely a staple must have for your closet and your wardrobe. We also do have flats if you are looking for a flatter shoe just to wear for graduation, just to be comfortable and not worry about tripping when you walk across the stage to get your diploma and that kind of thing. And then one last thing I do wanna to touch on is your cap. So caps are really important and obviously it's a statement for graduation. So when you are getting ready to put your cap on in the morning, make sure to tease your hair a little bit. That will help hold the cap. And you can also use bobby pins. There's no shame in doing that just so you make sure it stays put. Because if it slides back a little too far, or goes a little too far forward, you're going to just not like any of your pictures. So I hope that that blog was helpful and congratulations class of 2016 and all of those who are graduating. It's a huge accomplishment. Thank you so much for tuning in this week and check back next week for our latest blog.